Ta-da! <laughs> Hello, everybody! Ew. I hate that so much. So let's get started. Hello, everybody, and happy National Tequila Day. I thought we could all celebrate by me making some of the margarita recipes y'all have sent me. Uh, I've never made these before, but I'm really pumped to try these out. Today, I will be creating four of them and drinking them. And if you are not 21, don't watch this, or just save it for your 21st birthday, and it will all make sense. Okay, so the first one we will be making is just your classic margarita. A shot glass is one ounce. Learn this today, thank you Google. To start, ooh, great sound. Oh, this is gonna be very strong for the first drink, okay. Two shots of silver tequila. I feel like I'm drunk just pouring that in. One shot of control. Half ounce of sweetened lime juice and unsweetened. Love that. Okay, so now I have to like actually cut limes. Get it all in there. We're gonna shake it. I don't know how long you're supposed to shake it. That seems good enough. Using your leftover limes that you squeezed. It's a little tip I've learned. You just rim, rim the top of the glass there. Line it. Oh, that did not go very well. I feel like this is gonna be very strong. Classic margarita. That is so strong. <laughs> wow, I'm drunk already. But if you're trying to get really turnt, this is like the sauce right here. Up next, we have a pineapple jalapeno sunset margarita. This one got my attention because I have never tried something like this before. I've had spicy margaritas, but not the whole tequila sunrise plus jalapeno. We need a tablespoon of lime juice. I'm just gonna roughly estimate this. Two and a half shots of tequila. One ounce of triple sec. I am using Contro um, because I prefer the taste of Contro over triple sec, but that is just my own preference. Cause we bouge like that, okay? We a little bouge over here. So in order to make this spicy, we need to muddle the jalapeno with the pineapple juice. I don't have a muddler. Bruh. One to two slices of jalapeno. If it's spicy, I don't drink the margarita as fast, which is always a good thing. Two and a half ounces of pineapple juice. Let's do it. With this knife sharpener, because that's what you do. I need to invest in a muddler. Little workout of the day. And we strain it into the pineapple. For the sunrise part, we add the grenadine. Is this grenadine? Yes. Yes! Honestly, it looks really pretty. It's beautiful. Let's give it a whirl. Mmm. That is fresh. This is good. It's a little bit sweeter than the other one I made, but it's not bothering me. If this has more alcohol than the first margarita, but it doesn't taste like it, so I feel like these would really get me in a lot of trouble. Like the text my ex run naked through a neighborhood kind of trouble. This next one is a skinny coconut margarita, which I was very interested in because I don't think I've ever had a coconut margarita. So it immediately got my attention. Uno, dos, tres. Three ounces of tequila blanco? Three? So we're just gonna do two and one lime. Like a whole lime? Hope it's not a waste of lime. Ha ha. I hate myself. I think I'm just gonna add the coconut water afterwards and just mix it around a little bit because I only have a tiny one of these because I usually just make drinks for one person, and that is me. I guess you can garnish it with a, with a lime. 
Okay, here we go. I'm scared. That's very different. It's like a key lime pie almost. I think when they said one lime, they meant just one lime squeeze. For the final margarita, we cannot forget the frozen margaritas. I don't really like things that are super sweet, so like frozen margaritas are like not really my thing. But I just got this blender and I'm like, today is the day. So we are going to make a frozen peach margarita. I also don't know how to use this blender. Yeah. We're just gonna wing this and see what happens. So we add the peaches. Frozen peaches have a weird smell. It's saying to add a half a cup, which is why this is for more people. I am not gonna do that. Two is the cutoff for me. Lovely. So I'm just gonna add a half of one because I am Martha Stewart and I know what I'm doing. Just over here wasting limes. Sparkling water. It said to do peach sparkling water, but when I got to the grocery store, the peach sparkling water was all the way at the top shelf. And I'm 5'8", like I'm tall, but this was like all the way top in the way back. There were only two left. And I literally tried climbing on the shelves to get it. And it just didn't work. Probably a little bit more than normal in there. And agave nectar, but in this case, we are using the sweet and lime juice measurements. Who needs them? Not me. Cause I'm awesome. Work it! So far, so good. All right, let's try it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Tastes like I'm just eating a peach, but there's alcohol in it. Wow, this tastes really healthy. You know, I wasn't sure about this one, but I really like this. Well, now there are gonna be four margaritas in the refrigerator, and that is not a bad night. Thank you for watching the Martha Stewart, I mean, the Ingrid Andress Food Network cooking show. Good job, everybody. Good job, me. Great job. And thank you for sending me these recipes. I love them, and I will be making them all summer long. Oh, I need to lay down. You're just a waste of life.